We use technology every day in our lives for everything. People just expect the lights to be on, they expect to be able to turn on the tap and for water to come out. You're activating about 250 different microchips in the modern automobile. Every machine that you get connected to in the hospital, the banks, your credit card purchase. We're also seeing appliances that have become internet enabled. Technology is just becoming the fabric of the modern world. We are becoming increasingly dependent on it. Dependent on it. People don't realize that behind all of these systems, there's computers that were probably built 20 years Ago. Surf's up, see you on the net. All of those computers and software are deeply insecure. The standard view of a cyber criminal is some 16 year old pimply kid in his mom's basement hacking away at a keyboard in between playing World of Warcraft or Call of Duty. But it's changed. Today, it's actually a business, and it's run by traditional organized crime groups and new modern organizations. They are global, they're multinational, they're multilingual, and they're operating 24-7. If you shopped at a Target store on Black Friday, your credit card may have been affected by a massive security breach. If you are a victim of a car theft, you know that your car is stolen. You can call the police, they can look for it, etc. What's different about cybercrime is it happens in the background. And by the time you actually realize it, if you ever do, it's way too late. You can see the hacker is actually working in my computer right now. 99% of the people who have been victims of cybercrime don't even know about it. Their machines have been hacked. The bad guys are living inside your computer. They're monitoring what you're doing. According to the latest studies in 2014, the average time to detection is over 200 days. And that doesn't matter if you're a mom sitting at home or the major corporation in Silicon Valley. 200 days across the board. By the time you realize you've got a problem, it's way too late. All of your customers' credit cards are now out on the internet where people are starting to short your stock in really odd ways. One hacker group may have stolen up to a billion dollars from banks around the world. Kaspersky says the cyber attacks are still happening. They're going to first break into a computer in Buenos Aires and from there gonna hop to a computer in Italy and from Italy they'll go to London and then they'll go to the bank that they want to take over in New York. And what that means is that now you have an international criminal investigation and the evidence is incredibly ephemeral. For some parts of the world, the whole concept of cyber and internet and computers is so new, they have absolutely no laws against cybercrime. If we don't have a legal framework that allows the countries to cooperate, then the victim can't do much about the attacker. We don't have a set of frameworks that address the full range of cyber hazards. The technology is developing way too quickly for us to rely upon legal instruments to fix this problem. Beyond that, most of the world's information is not encrypted, whether it be your credit card number or your personal data or your health records. Anthem Insurance got hit by a massive electronic attack. The hackers made off with many of the necessary tools to do a whole lot of damage to a lot of people. We have the attackers running very, very quickly, and it's very difficult to defend against them. The real challenge for all of us is really, do I feel safe in this online environment? There's never been a better time for exponential change in the cybersecurity world. I think that the next big technology should be the creation of a safer internet.